This video is supported by Rocket Railways for all your model railway needs. Please check the link in the description below. Hello and welcome back to Galgorm Hall. Hopefully a bit of a quick one for you this time round. I've been working off and on on this particular build here for another modeler and I've reached the point where I'm installing the window frames for the build. Now, what I've found myself doing is scratch building these frames a little bit differently from what I've shown before in previous videos and I just thought I'd show you what the process is and it's quite a quick and effective way of creating a sash window. The reason I've gone for scratch building rather than uh, something say laser cut is that whenever cutting out all the apertures for the windows there are those marginal discrepancies in terms of measurements a half millimetre here and there which would have made it very difficult to actually get something laser cut. That's more down to my inability to cut a hole correctly in size than anything else, but it is what it is. So I've finished the front ones and I'm moving on to the rear and I'm going to show you how to make one of these windows for the rear. So materials wise, we're looking at, first of all, this plastruct strip here, which is number 90733 and that's point 030 by 0 0.060 dimensions which works out i think roughly about 0 0.8 millimeters by about 1.8 millimeters secondly we have the 0 0.8 millimeter square rod again from plastrut you'll also need some clear plastic sheet and some black card and that's it that's all the materials that we need so first of all we need to measure the dimensions of our opening and i'm using a set of calipers to, of, for that just to get as accurate a measurement as possible so we're looking at 11 millimeters in width and 22 millimeters in height. I have a sheet of graph paper sitting in front of me here and I'm going to draw those dimensions exactly onto the graph paper here. We will also mark the center line on the um, graph paper too, which in this case will be 11 millimeters. And that's going to allow us to work out the center point for the bar on the window. Now, we'll take some of the wider plastruct, the uh, sort of, the, I'm going to say one by two millimeter. It's not quite that, but it just keeps it simple. And we need to cut two lengths of that of 22 millimeters. With those pieces cut, we need to cut out a sheet of plastic which is going to cover our measurement here slightly over maybe a few millimeters over it depends on the area of wall that you have behind uh, your window opening as to how wide you can make this i mean you can make it as wide as you want really to be honest it's just all down to the actual building that you've got to work with we'll lay that over the top and with a strip of masking tape top and bottom it will just hold it enough in place now taking our 22 millimeter cut strips we're going to glue them end on with glue and glaze just a very thin run of it and i tend to rotate the graph paper so that I can ensure that I'm gluing inside the line that I've just drawn on it. Now with those in place, as long as we have certainly one end exactly right, we'll not worry too much about the other one splaying out at the top. And we're going to measure the gap between that, which is just over nine millimeters inconveniently. So we will cut three strips this time of well just over nine millimeters 
Just check that those there are all coming in at the same height and length and make any adjustments accordingly. And once again, we're going to glue these bottom, middle and top. And I start, I start with the outside ones and then I'll do the center bar afterwards. And then at this point here, we can try and square everything off. If your um, horizontal pieces have all been cut to the same length, it doesn't really matter at this point if we move veer off the pencil lines that we drew on the graph paper. They really were the only there as a guide. It's now more important to try and make sure the thing's as square as possible. And I think that looks not too bad. Now with our 0.8mm square rod, we're going to cut another bit of a length just over the 9mm mark. And we'll set it in just beneath the other centre bar. And that's just to sort of create that illusion that we've got on a sash window where one window sits forward of the other one. Now I did try building this by creating the internal framework all the way around the window but it just became far too chunky looking. So just by having that center bar even helps just to create the illusion of an actual sash window and certainly from a viewing distance um, it does prove quite effective. Okay, with all that checked and squared off, we're going to take some plasti weld And with that, we're going to run a very gentle strip along each edge on the outer edge of our frame. And that's just going to help adhere the plastic to the clear plastic beneath. And then we'll also dab on each of the four corners too and run a strip across the centre bars. I want to be as gentle as possible with that because it is very easy to move all these pieces but I can already feel under the just the slightest pressure of my fingers that that glue is going off. Now we're ready to peel the masking tape away. We'll move that sheet out of the road. And bring in our black card. And with our glue and glaze again, we'll just run a nice even strip of glue round the outer edges of the plastic. Try not and get across the bars into the actual area of the window because it will show up um, once dried. And we'll just glue that to our black piece of card. Now, I am just going very much with a plain black background to these windows. But if you if prior to doing this stage, you could lay a little piece of, say, white tissue paper on the two halves before placing the plastic down on it to create some curtains for the interior. The backs of these windows are not going to be visible from the layout that it's going on to. So we're just keeping it simple. It's basically just to shut out all the, um, the internals. Now, if we have measured correctly, it should be just a matter of popping this window into its position. 
and that goes in absolutely fine. So with the test fit done, we'll prise it out very carefully. And with the drop of the glue and glaze again round the outer edges. We'll put that into place now and we're ensuring that the small 0.8 millimeter rod is based at the bottom as your sash window will have its forward part of the, the window on the upper section. At this point here you'll probably be able to see whether you have angled your your bars correctly and that's not too bad now hopefully you find that of some interest uh, the windows really are quite effective i think once in and that little alteration to the center bar just by putting the other one in beneath it just does add a little extra dimension to create that sash window effect Okay, that's it for this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been of some use to you and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye for now.